Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprimastertv.com lomitko schedule. Of hemispheres, which are infinite, and which are divided by an infinite number of lines, so that every man always has one of these lines between his feet. Men shall speak with and touch and embrace each other while standing each in different hemispheres, and shall understand each other's language. Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 229, Prophecies by the Great Italian Artist, Leonardo da Vinci, Vegetarian. I gave up meat, and it's the best I've ever felt playing football, so I've stuck at it, and I've got no thought of going back. Sean Brisley, vegan. Buongiorno, delightful viewers. This is how one kindly says good day in Italian. I am Carmenta Nicostratti, protector of mothers and children and inventor of the Latin alphabet. The friendly people of Italy admire your dedication to protecting the Earth's forests and glittering blue oceans. May you feel blessed as the sun divinely shines upon you. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Um. 
As a leading creative force of the Renaissance movement, the beloved artist and polymath Leonardo da Vinci Vegetarian is known for his abundant sketches and notes that contained invention ideas that were way ahead of his time. One of his most focused areas seemed to be aviation. He apparently observed flying animals such as bats and birds and tried to replicate them. His flying machine drawings clearly show his source of inspiration. He also described an image of a helicopter which he called an aerial screw. His sketches also depict a parachute. Another of his ideas that have come to life is the refrigerator. He invented the idea of this cooling machine in 1492. That is about 400 years before we had electric refrigerators in our homes, in 1913. Among Da Vinci's other inventions were diving suits and he also suggested the use of solar power, which our world is just starting to use in our current times. Other conceptual inventions of his diverse machinery include a water-lifting device, an automobile, designs for a boat, designs for a parabolic compass, and even designs that made clocks more accurate in keeping time, the mechanisms of which are still used today. His ideas still provide inspiration and influence many to this day, a majority of his ideas were known to be too advanced, thus could not be realized during his time, and sadly many are thought to be lost. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, once described that some souls come from advanced planets and bring with them the technologies of those higher planets. My, it's so exciting. So we are, are catching up with the advanced technology of the higher uh, planetary systems. Yeah. And right now we're using lasers and all that to heal the patients. You know that already, right? Yes. 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 They use light to heal patients. I remember one of my earliest lectures in Taiwan. We mentioned about the light therapy on all the more advanced planets. Okay, those scientists, they have been born in this planet now and they're bringing their uh, treasure memory with them. So they're making our planet a better place to live, you know, as far as physical comfort is concerned, yes. And also, um, maybe soon, wow, not very, not very far future, we're talking about years only. We probably have flying cars and all that stuff. And uh, it's probably easier to see each other and less traffic congestion. We will have faster commuting service. And all this is very exciting for me too. Yeah. Well, I'm seeing your picture right here, thousands of miles apart. This is really good. Because uh, we are also practicing very well, thanks to you. All the beautiful, lovely yogis, <laughs> happy yogis. Uh, thank you. Yes, you see, all this has to do with us also, you see. So as much as I'm excited about all these news, uh, I also want to thank you and many others, you know, other groups of practitioners. They're trying their best to contact God, and that's how we lift the uh, ambience of this planet. And so, because the planet's vibration frequencies have been lifted up into a higher level, so those highly developed scientists from a higher planet, they be able 
to reincarnate into our world without less suffering, without uh, losing much of their memories from from where they came from, and hence we have such a wonderful advance of technology nowadays. In addition to his futuristic ideas and conceptual inventions, Da Vinci also had prophetic visions on future technologies, which were included in his notes and the prophecies. Of dreaming. Men will walk and not stir. They will talk to those who are not present and hear those who do not speak. This note starts with the title of dreaming. It is interesting to note here that Leonardo da Vinci was known to sleep on a polyphasic sleep schedule, also known as Uberman's sleep schedule. That is, unlike the majority of people, he slept 20 minutes every 4 hours, which sums up to about 2 hours a day. Regarding this prophecy, what could Da Vinci have been describing? As the title hints, it is possible that he had these visions during his dreams. Walk without stir seems to signify movement without much physical effort or adjustment. This does sound like the current moving walkways and escalators which allow people to walk without stepping and talking to those who are not present may be describing our daily life with our phones and internet devices that allows us to talk with people around the globe. Hearing those who do not speak may explain the use of audio devices that allow us to listen to music or other voices that were recorded in the past, including those who are deceased and hence not physically present. Similar foretelling is found in another of his notes. Of hemispheres, which are infinite and which are divided by an infinite number of lines, so that every man always has one of these lines between his feet. Men shall speak with and touch and embrace each other while standing each in different hemispheres, and shall understand each other's language. Nowadays, people from the opposite sides of the globe are connected through the Internet, which utilizes undersea cables that connect the whole world. I love you. I love you, Baba. I love you so much. We love you also. Hi there, every beautiful people in that order. I love you. Hug, 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 kiss, kiss. <laughs> Thus, through phones, web conferences, in other internet devices and apps, people are able to communicate with each other in real time. Sometimes there is simultaneous interpretation in internet web pages that provide translation too, which allows people to understand each other even though they speak different languages. Of writing letters from one country to another, Men will speak with each other from the most remote countries and reply. He also foresaw the progress of the mail system. The global mail system started to become feasible throughout the world by the 19th century, hundreds of years after his notes were written. As this prophecy foretells, our current advanced technology allows us to enjoy and respond to instant emails and messages in seconds. Aside from the foretelling of various technologies that we currently use, Leonardo da Vinci also recorded visions that made him concerned for later generations. We will find out what caused him to lament for the future in our later episodes.
No to vegan, only the big gentlemen choose it. Admirable viewers, thank you for joining us today. Please tune in again next week as we continue our discovery of Leonardo da Vinci's foretelling related to our current time. Coming up next is Her Majesty Queen Cleopatra VII Philopator, The Life of the Powerful Egyptian Pharaoh, Part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May your benevolent mindset inspire those around you to radiate kindness into the world. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP 